daily two two answers from lesson number one and module one the verb grammar part one day vocabulary part one day yes you learn like this you should and learn and write the essays and see send it to me complete lesson number one module one lesson number two and module two essays and send to me okay children i will check once okay now we are going to learn third lesson we are going to see the third lesson what is the third lesson children here how much for a coconut how much for a coconut what it is how much for a coconut children here see how much for a coconut means how much what is the rate of a coconut what it is children what is the rate of a coconut now first we are going to learn the listen and say aloud words what it is children listen and say aloud words see a letters o w that sounds like the o w in show how it is sounding show o it's sounding like o now we are reading see s l o w slow what it is slow slow snow ball crow what it is children snow slow snow ball crow and next how sounds how oh like this clown brown clown brown frown and now you can see this verse now clown clown brown frown now clown brown frown now slow snow ball crow slow snow ball crow clown brown frown how these are the now these are the words listen and say loud words you also read after me once again i'm reading see children slow snow ball crow clown brown frown now understood children now see the warm up questions do you know someone who has a lot of money but does not spend it on necessary things here i am asking you the question that see here someone has so much of money but he is not spending for the needy things means necessary things also they are not spending do you know any person like the children i know one person who will not spend for the for eating the food also they will not spend the money this year there is so much of money they are having but also they will not spend understood children like that person you have anyone say i know one person you know any one person think it about it and what is the difference between spending carefully and being a miser what is the difference between spending uh, spending carefully and being a miser here see what is the difference means difference means what i will tell means see here whenever we are having necessary thing we want to buy then we should buy compulsory because it is necessary for us yes and unnecessary for wasting the money into the unnecessary things buying the unnecessary things it is wrong it is wrong you should not buy the unnecessary things understood children for necessary which is necessary we are buying that is carefully spending the money understood and miser what is the being a miser means uh, we are using we are buying the we are spending the money for necessary things but which is necessary but also they are not spending the money means he is a miser now say you want to buy one pencil it is very important for us to write notes everything yes it is necessary so we will buy a pencil but some people what they will think, think that why we need to pen, buy the pencil this pencil is this much no this is enough for writing no they will think but what we are thinking this much pencil we can't we can't hold it in the hands and we can't write the neat handwriting yes but some people will think that what happens writing only nothing happens we will write with this pencil only why need to buy why need to spend on the 2 rupees for the pencil they will think they will buy they will ask that it will get for 1 rupee or it will get for 50 paisa they will be thinking like that to buy the pencil yes children that person is called as miser okay when we are having the money also when we want to buy the necessary things for necessary things they are not spending means he is a miser understood children this is about the questions now we will read a story now we will read a story of bikku bai he did not want to spend his money and was a big miser yes children everyone open your pay textbook page number 
Page number 49, 15. Now we will go in to read the page number 15. Open your page number 15, children. Open your 15 page number textbook, children. Page number 15 in textbook. Yes. Now reading the text. First, read after me. One para we will read first. Okay. Biku Bai did not like to spend money. B H I K U Biku B H A I Bai Biku Bai did not like to spend money. One day he felt like eating a. One day he felt like eating a few fresh coconut pieces. One day he felt like eating a few fresh coconut pieces. The thought of coconuts made his mouth water. The thought of coconuts made his mouth water. But there was a pro small problem. But there was a small problem. He had to spend money. He had to spend money. What shall I do? He thought, let me find out the price of the coconuts first. He thought, let me find out the price of the coconuts first. Here, see your children, you also read after me? I think I hope you are all reading after me. Okay, now we will see the story. Okay, see so what happened here? A bhikkhu boy did not like to spend money. He is having so much money, but also he don't want to spend money. One day what happened? He felt like eating the few fresh coconuts. He wanted to eat the fresh coconut pieces. Okay. Then he thought of coconuts made his the, the thought. He wanted what he wanted to eat. He wanted to eat the fresh coconut pieces. While thinking only his mouth water. See, now when we will feel that our favorite dish we want to eat means how we will feel like that the Bhikkhu Bhai was also felt. But there was a small problem. He was having some, some problem. What is that small problem? He had to spend money. See here, he had to spend money. But he don't want to spend money, no. To eat coconut pieces means first we should go to the shop and we should buy the coconut. After that, we will break the coconut and we can eat the coconut pieces. But he had to spend money. He was thinking about this. What shall I do? He thought. He thought that what shall I do for buying the coconut? First, he wanted to let me find out the Price of coconuts first. What he said? Let me find out the price. Price means what? What is the cost? Cost of the coconut. Let him find out first. First he was thinking that. Let me find out the coconut's price first. Afterwards we can buy coconut or what do you want to do? He walked to the big market. It was buzzing with business. See ya? He walked through the big market. It was buzzing with business. What is buzzing with business? Here buzzing means active. Buzzing means what? Active children. Active with selling and buying. Business means selling and buying is a business. Yes, children? Like a market. How we will go into the market? We have seen we will, in nearby your houses, Tuesday, Monday, Saturday, Wednesday. They, in the evening times, they will be having a market. Yes, children? Weekly ones, they will keep the market. Yes? In that, how it will be? Like that, the market was active with selling and buying. Because I saw a coconut seller. How much is a coconut for? See, he went and saw the, in the market, he went and he saw the coconut seller. And he went there and he asked, how much is coconut for? Then he asked, only two rupees. He asked, how much is the coconut for? Then the seller said, only two rupees. That's too much. Give it for one rupee. Here what Bikuba said. See, that is too much. Give it for one rupee. No, sir. Do you know where I can get one for a rupee? And he said, the seller said, no, sir. And Bikuba asked, do you know where I can get for one rupee? Then go to the waterfront and try. The coconut seller said, go to the waterfront and try. What is waterfront, children? A part of the city or town that overlook a water body, like a river or sea. Near that you will go means you, will, you can buy for one rupee. Then Bhikkhu Bhai walked to the waterfront and looked around. Yes, finally he found a coconut seller. How much are you charging for one coconut? Here what happened? The Bhikkhu Bhai walked. Walked means, you know, he went. He walked to the waterfront. What is waterfront, children? It is a place where near the river and sea. Okay. That place he went and he... He was singing here and there, here and there for the coconut seller. Then he found a coconut seller. And what he asked, how much are you charging for one coconut? How much are you charging? Means how much you are taking for one coconut? What is the cost of one coconut? Then the seller said, 
Only one rupee. The seller what he said? Only one rupee. In the market what he said? Two rupees. Now in the waterfront what he said? One rupee. Then I walk it so far and you say it is for red rupee. Give me it for 50 paisa. Then what the bhikkhu boy said? I walk it for so much far. I walk it and came. But you are saying one rupee. You can give it for 50 paisa. What is 50 paisa children? It is a half of a rupee. One rupee's half is 50 paisa. Okay. 250 paisa we will make. We will join it means we will come one rupee. Yes children? One rupee. One rupee half is 50 paisa. 250 is 100. No 100 means one rupee. Now see here. Sorry, if you want a coconut for 50 paisa, go to the coconut group. Then coconut seller said, sorry, if you want a coconut for 50 paisa, go, it, go, give, go to the grove. What is grove, children? A group of trees that are close together. Means it is a, you can tell as a coconut garden. You can tell as a coconut field like that. Okay, grove. It was hot and Bikku boy was tired when he reached the grove. A man was sitting nearby. He had a few coconuts left. Bikubai asked him, how much for a coconut? Then what happened? It was very hot. That time was very hot. Bikubai was tired when he reached to the grove. What happened? A man, man was sitting there nearby. Because Bikubai first went to the big market. After that, he went to the waterfront. After that, he reached the grove. grove. Yes, children. He was walked and he was very tired. He was very Tired then. Then he saw a man sitting nearby and he was having some little coconuts only, some few coconuts. And Bikubai asked, how much for a coconut? He asked, how much? Means what is the cost of a coconut? Then 50 paisa only. The so coconut seller said, it is only 50 paisa. I walked for a such long time. I am very tired. And you say 50 paisa, you should give me it to me for free, said Bikubai. What the Bhikkhu Bhai said here, see here, I walked for such a long time. He walked for a such a long time. From long time he is walking, he walked and he came to this grove. And he was very tired. He said also, I am very tired. I can't at all, this, I can't at all stand also. You can give me, why you are saying 50 paisa? You should give me for free it is. You should give me for free. You walked for a long mile and you came means why he will give for 50 paisa? For free, how we will give? He said 50 paisa. Yes. First, where he went? Bikubai went to the big market. There the coconut price was 2 rupees. Yes, children. And Bikubai asked, why 2 rupees? You can, where I can get for 1 rupee? He said, then coconut seller said, you can go to the waterfront. Then waterfront, what happened? The coconut seller said 1 rupee. Yes. 1 rupee means, why you are giving, why you are telling 1 rupee? I walked from, I came from a long distance. Why you are telling 1 rupee? You can give for 50 paisa, no? Then 50 paisa means you go to the grow, he said. When he reached grow, 50 paisa. You can buy it for 50 paisa, no? But he asked again there, I walked from a long distance, long time I'm walking and coming here. You are, you are telling that 50 paisa, you should give me for free. I'm very tired also. Yes. The Kubai was very miserable here. Yes, if you want a coconut for free, get it yourself. Climb this tree and take your pick. You don't have to pay. Then the coconut seller said, if you want a coconut for free means you climb the tree and pick it one. What you want? Then you will get for a no need to pay. You just climb it out, climb it up and pick the coconut. It will be for you free. No money to pay. Then the thought of a free, oh, and fresh coconut made Bikubai happy. The thought of free, yes, I'm not spending the money, I'm getting something. And I can eat it, the coconut pieces means what? He felt very happy. But he started climbing the tree. He reached at the top and stretched out his hand for the biggest coconut. His foot slipped. Thud. What happened? By the thought of the free only, what happened? His mouth was watering and he was very happy and he started climbing the tree. When he climbed the tree up and he picked one, he wanted to pick one big coconut. Yes, then he raised his hands like this and what happened? He fell down. The third sound, the foot slipped. His foot slipped. What is that? A dull or heavy sound made by an object falling to the ground. When we will put anything down, how the sound will come? Like that here, when he fell down, the third sound came. Down fell Bikubai. Another big third, a coconut fell right on the top of his head. Bikubai finally got a big coconut all for free. See here, another big third, 
What is the other big third? The coconut fell right on the top of his head. Then Bikku boy finally got a coconut, big coconut for free. But uh, tell me children, he got a coconut for free. But he is happy with that? No, because he fell from up. He will get hurt, yes. And the coconut fell on his head. He will get hurt, yes. But finally he got a free coconut. But the, but his Health is very damaged. Health is very damaged. Yes, children. See, here what is the story we will listen. First, I will tell a summary like a story. Okay. Bikubai. What is Bikubai? Bikubai is a miser. He is having the money, but he don't want to spend money. One day, he wanted to eat the fresh coconut pieces. By thinking about that only, he got water in the mouth. And he thought first, his problem is what? He wanted to spend the money because he want to spend the money, but he don't like to spend the money. So he will, first we will see what is the rate. He thought about that and he went to the big market. And he went to the big market. Big market was very buzzing and buzzing with business. Means active with selling and buying. And what happened? He saw a coconut seller and he asked, "What? How much for the coconut?" Then he said, "It is two rupees." Coconut seller said, two rupees." Then. Bikubai asked, you can give me for one rupee, no? Then he said, no, sir, you can't give. Then Bikubai asked, where one, for one rupee, where I can get the coconut? Then coconut seller said that, you go to the waterfront. Water front. What is waterfront? Let's see, a part of the city or town that overlook a water body, like a river or a sea. Yes, you learn. And he said, where you, there you will go, means you will get for one rupee. Then he walked along and he went to the waterfront, Bikubai. And he asked, he saw, he saw here and there for the coconut seller. Finally, he found a coconut seller. And he asked, what is the rate of the coconut? Then the coconut seller said, it is 1 rupee. It is 1 rupee. Then he wanted for coconut for 1 rupee only now in the big market. He can buy for 1 rupee now, but he didn't buy it. And he asked, I love, I walked a long distance and I came. You are telling me one rupee, you can't give me for 50 paisa? Then coconut seller said, no, I can't give for you. You want for 50 paisa means go to the grove. Near the grove you can find for 50 paisa. Then he logged a long distance. It was very hot also. But also he went near the grove. Grove means what children? See group of trees a group of trees are close uh, that are close together the group of trees that are close together yes and he went there and he found a coconut seller with few coconuts and he asked what is the rate for the coconut then the coconut seller said 50 paisa see then bikubai said he can buy the 50 paisa no it is very cheap he can buy a coconut no but also what he said he said that i am from coming from long i am coming from Long distance, I am very tired, it is very hot also. I came from long distance, means what you should do? You should give for me free. Why you are taking 50 paisa? Then there's a coconut seller said, climb on the tree and pick it yourself, no need to pay the money. Then I uh, thought of a free, 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 means what happened? Bikubai was very excited and very happy. So what he did? He went and he pick, he climbed up the tree and he picked them. He wanted to pick the coconut. He started. He stretched his hands to pick the coconut. A big coconut. But his foot slipped and he fell down. How? Oh, thud. Thud means an object falls down. Means what is the sound comes? We will tell that sound as a thud. After he is falling down, what happened? The right, at right, the top of his head, the coconut fell. And he got a free coconut. Yes, you learn without paying any money, he got a big coconut. But anyone uh, falling from the tree, what happens to them? And the coconut falling on the head, what happens to them? Think, children, and tell it is a, a good thing to buy like that. N yes, see, now I will ask the questions. What did Bikku buy dislike? Spending money. What was the cost of one coconut at the waterfront? One rupee. Yes, children. How much did Bikku buy have to pay for the coconut at the grove? Yes, 50 paisa. What else from the tree after Bikku buy fell? What else fell from the Bikku, from the tree after Bikku buy? Yes, children. Coconut fell after him. Yes, children. Now, what is your work to do? Write the listen and sell out words in the classwork. New words in the classwork. Okay, children. And read the lesson and write the LUD questions. Okay, children. Once I have to read now, open your page number 15, I will read one paragraph. 
After that, you also read. Okay, children? Open your 15 page number. Biku boy did not like to spend money. One day, he felt like eating a few fresh coconut pieces. The thought of coconut made his mouth water. But there was a small problem. He had to spend money. What shall I do? He thought. Let me find out the price of the coconut first. Understood children? Like this you read the lesson. Okay, tomorrow I will make you to read full lesson. Okay children? Do your work. Write the listen and say loud words. Meanings. New words in your classwork. Okay children? Complete the work. Thank you. Complete your work children. Understood? What is the lesson number? 3. How much for a coconut? You should write listen and say loud words. And meanings. New words. Okay children? Thank you.